Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa. In the last episode we recorded, um, well, that's a trick question because in the last episode we recorded, um, I didn't record any commentary or audio for that matter. It was just a blank. <laughs> it was just a blank file with video and that's it. Lame. The good news is we didn't really miss too much and I kind of also know what to do now so we don't waste time like I did in the last episode which ended up being 24 minutes which I could probably accomplish in 7 minutes this time. Mm -hmm. So as we can see, this is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. I think we read this before in the episode even prior to that, which yes. did get uploaded. But we couldn't go in the room. How do we get in the room? Well, I have to check out this room first. That's all there was to it. I think this took us like 10 minutes to figure out. Yeah, it did. Of like backtracking and talking to everyone and trying to figure out what the hell we're supposed to do. So yeah, the nameplates were switched. What a startling revelation. I mean, I think we already noticed that before too. We did. It's just we didn't realize you had to inspect both to get this ad to our notebook. But hey. Now we can go in both rooms. Uh, we'll go in this one first. I don't think there's anything in our room we need to check out anyway. No, I don't think so. So if I remember correctly, there's two things we got in here. There was, of course, the thing in the trash can, which is the DVD. Mm-hmm. Which is very useful. DVD has Saka's name on it. We'll get to see what she sees and see what really upset her after seeing what's on that video. And I wonder what she saw. Well... Last time I speculated, it's probably something similar to what we saw anyway, so... It's probably the same thing. I'm sorry, Saka, I need to borrow this DVD. I don't think she minds at this point in time. What do you think? No. She's not gonna mind. And one other thing we found in this room... Was if you inspect the bed... Saka. No, I can't let myself get depressed again. I need to search for clues. Nothing here, except... Get another token. That'll be useful for later, I'm sure. And I don't think there's anything else. I think we just head out now. Pretty sure that was it. Yeah. And aside from that, the only other thing we did was... Well, we watched the video. Watched the video. And... Map. That's what it was. We have to teleport ourselves over to... The... Gymnasium. Because we spoke to... What's his name? Yasuhiro. Because we figured out that, oh, we found the crystal ball in the uh, incineration room. Mm -hmm. So maybe Yasuhiro can give us some facts about that, given that he's the only one that would have a crystal ball. Hey, Hiro, can I ask you something? Uh, no, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out now. I've had enough, man. Gotta break free. Hiro, snap out of it. Uh, um... G huh? Uh, Makoto. What are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar to you? Yeah! That's my crystal ball! But it's all smashed! What the hell? What the heck? I... I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. Well, I guess you got hoodwinked. <laughs> so how did it break? What? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? He said it belonged to the Pillars of History. Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. What? Yeah, I'm sure it traveled all that way throughout time. Mm -hmm. He said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Well, I guess so. Uh, um, let's just put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you. Uh, um... Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Update. Shattered crystal ball has been updated to your truth bullets. Yeah, so basically anyone could have had the ball and used it for their purposes. Right. Which we already have an idea of who that is, but ooh, regardless, ooh. we'll proceed. Thanks, Hira. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, um... Sh sure. I guess he's going to be in a bad mood now. Um, by the way... I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did he pay for that thing? Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. Wow. What a bad idea. Came out to be... like, a million. That's how much you made from fortune telling? Damn. Jeez. Then it could be so lucrative. Maybe a um, million a million? Yen? Oh, maybe. Who knows? Which is still a lot. That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. Um... Well, you could already see how well that turned out. That's just too... too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. <laughs> Neither do I. 
Right. So that's all you had to do with him. Uh, should we teleport again? Doesn't really take long to try where to go next, but still, I guess we'll do it regardless. Oh, that's right, we can only go to certain areas. We noticed on the map, it has to be specified as a fast travel point. Okay, whoop. I always go past this room, it's right there. And this is pretty much all we did during the episode. We already accomplished it in like seven minutes. Mm -hmm. So that, that's cool, we get to do some extra stuff then. I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... Oh, look, there they are. The idols. An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of a concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was the face that I recognized all too well. Sayaka. Hm? She was there, along with the friend she said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept. Except that she was... dead. Oh no. My vision started to blur and darken, and then... That voice had come to despise so much, began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. Yeah, well, I never heard of them. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. <laughs> I just re-noticed the person on the right again. That's yeah, so derpy. It's, it's a good face. Oh no! What's this? Suddenly the screen went dark. And in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. Oh no! Oh, what the? Sack had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. Oh no, they're all collapsed. What happened? This ultra successful team suddenly fell apart. Why aren't huh. they wearing shoes? <laughs> who needs shoes? None of them will ever perform. Maybe someone stole their shoes. Again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. They all got merged so someone could steal their shoes. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So what, they all died after she left? Is that what you're saying? I don't know. A good question indeed. Oh. <laughs> That's what we have to do. Without warning, the video cut off. What? What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of a person would take things this far? What kind of a bear, even? It's ding dong ping bong. What does that mean? Um, so, uh... I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? I'd figure that would happen. It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Woo! Everyone cheer. Yay. Yay. Finally now get to see then, it. Allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Oh yes, a proper location, of course. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> see you soon! Yeah, I'm pretty sure that means we found all the clues and now it's time to begin. Yeah, the red door we've seen so much, so we finally get to go in it. No, it's where I have to go. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, of course. Oh, the suspense. Ooh, look at that. So now we can finally go inside, right? I don't know, can we? Guess so. You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to save just in case, because I'm feeling really, really nervous about this. Alright, so I guess it's time we finally begin the trial. Do you feel confident that we have everything we need in order to proceed? I mean, I know who did it, but... <laughs> I think I know who did it, too. But how do we convince everyone else? They all seem pretty dead set on us. They do, but... Oh, there's one thing that we did not show off. What's that one thing? We went to Leon's door. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we tried to go in his room because I didn't know what else to do at that time. And then he just came to the door and was like, Hey, how dare you try to go in my room? What do you think you're going to find in there? Or something like that. Might be paraphrasing a little, but mm -hmm. still. 
Alright, well, guess we'll go in, right? Nothing else to do. So finally, what's behind the red doors? Guess we'll see. A circus. I'm sure that's what it'll be. Well, it's everyone it's else. It's an elevator. Are you kidding me? We're right here. You're late, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> I bet you were afraid you'd be discovered as the murderer you are. Listen to me. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. There we can all reveal the details of Makoto's crime. So they really are convinced I did it, but... But that's not what we did. I didn't do it. Me and Saika both know that all too well. Saika's dead, she doesn't know shit. <laughs> but then, who's the killer? Set it on the wall. The writing was literally on the wall. The one who murdered Saika. Is it really one of us? Yes. Yes. Come on, Makoto. How have you not figured it out by now? He's very dumb. Is everyone here? Okay, then. All right, then. I guess we begin. Please board the elevator in front of you. Elevator? Which will transport you to the courtroom. Wow. Where all your fates will be decided. Didn't know we had a fancy elevator in the school. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. Oh, you get to meet the bear himself down there, too. I think it's gonna talk to everyone first. Let's see what Mondo what? thinks. What? So whoever stuck is here even took the time to set up a goddamn courtroom, huh? Well, he had this all planned out, it seems. Let's see. Yasuhiro. Impossible. Damn. We really gotta go through with this class trial thing, huh? You know? If you wanna confess, I guess now's the time to do it. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. Well, I know Kyoko at least knows. There's no point standing around here. Settle your resolve and step into the future. Step into the future? <laughs> That's a funny way of putting it. Oh, alright, Kyoko. Let's get started. Well, that's very encouraging. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. In the end, I wasn't able to do any looking around or anything. No, you didn't do anything? What the hell? Is this really how Sayako would want us to find out who killed her? Well, she'd want us to get the right person, so you probably should have gotten off your ass and did something. What the heck? I can't help but wonder what whoever killed Sayaka is feeling right now. I thought you thought it was us. Well, maybe she's having second thoughts. <laughs> well, did you find anything that might actually prove your innocence? We found a ton of stuff, thank you very much. Not that you were any help. Toko. Being so insistent, even though you obviously killed her. Very I oh, impressive. You are the freaking worst. Honestly. Oh, look who it is back there. You know what what do you have to say? Well, I did my job. I'm counting on the rest of you from here on out. Yeah, you did your job, alright. I know what you did. Mm -hmm. So the school basement has become the darkened stage. We're all here to bear witness to Mr. Nagi's final curtain call. Come on, Ifumi. You too. <laughs> well then, the time has finally come. Are you ready? You didn't talk to Taka. I know, saving him for last. Seems the proper choice for a final pick. Got it. Relax. I haven't decided 100% that you're the culprit just yet. You're like the only one. Maybe, but you're obviously leaning that way. Yeah, it seems that way to me, too. So that's where we have to go, right? Let's see. Alright. I guess I have no choice but to get on this elevator. Well, then. Let us begin. Yes, indeed. Good idea. Yeah, yeah, let's all go. Hey. Are you scared? Why would I be scared? It's only half the people in the school that think I'm guilty. It's no big deal. Maybe if you had done more to convince people, I wouldn't feel so scared right now, but whatever. No, scared isn't quite right. I said it before, but it's up to you to uncover the mystery surrounding this case yourself. Why can't you help? You obviously uncovered stuff. It seems like you know who did it as well. Isn't it in your best interest as well? If you don't, you'll never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover the truth of Saka's death. I didn't need someone else to tell me to do that. In Saka's honor, I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. You should have already. As I raise my voice to try and give myself courage. 
I turned, trembling with anticipation towards the elevator. Did everyone hear us out loud say that? <laughs> with each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the elevator when I finally stepped on. The doors closed and the elevator started to move. Ooh, fancy. The steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds toward the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when it's time to finally come. Oh. What was that sound she Ooh. made? Oh. Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Yeah, obviously. Obviously. Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. Ooh, the bowels. Wow. It's a fancy place. You finally arrived! What do you think? Doesn't it just feel like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Not even close. It's total shit. Okay, okay. Everyone find your assigned seats and sit down. Hurry up now. Hurry up. We did what he said and found our seats. Ugh. Not exactly seats, more like places yeah. to stand. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so that everyone could see everyone else. Oh, look, we have X's for the people who are missing. Aww. <laughs> I like how they put up their pictures though so you can kind of remember them. And wow, Mondo's hair looks so crazy from this angle. Oh my gosh, it is very <laughs> far out. Which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their attention and unease onto anyone else. It looks like one of those bugle snacks. <laughs> it does, kind of. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. Or stand. Seriously, where are you seeing seats? And so the curtain on our first trial opened. First case, even. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. Okay, we get it. It's very deadly, Makoto. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Fumi looks so large like that. <laughs> a deadly riddle. A deadly defense. Yes, it's deadly. A deadly faith. We get it. We get it. A deadly class trial. Jeez. So overdramatic. Do you want to save data? Okay, oh, I guess this is a good saving point. Sure, we'll leave off here, I guess, too. Why not? Seems like things are probably going to pick up from here. Oh, wow. So there's a whole bunch of stuff, apparently. Uh, what? Well, alrighty, guys. Looks like in the next part, we're going to begin our preparations for the trial. I guess this is a lot more involved than I first thought. We have trial preparations, pre-trial prep. A lot to keep in mind, huh? Yes, I am kind of scared that we'll F it up somehow. Well, anyway, looks like I have to learn this on the fly. Until then, guys, take care. Bye. I'll see you next time.